Thank you, Facebook. Now I know how everyone else's bathrooms look like. Today's submission comes from Dennis Gutai from Hungary. He sends this uh, portrait for critic. Okay, so from a content perspective, we need to compare it with other portraits. So uh, what's the worst portrait? What's the best portrait? I would see this in the um, average high, so I would give it a six. It's a girl. It does, uh, it does have some meaning. There's probably she's thinking about something. I don't like the fact she doesn't look at the camera, so I can't see her eyes. However, if you, if you believe this is your interpretation of a portrait, that's good. If you believe this highlights her personality. But again, I would love to see her eyes. So from a content perspective, I would give this a six. From a composition, usually you wanna, for such a close-up, you would want to move the eyes into the rule of thirds. This one does not really... Uh, does not really follow that so again it's not bad but it's difficult to judge a composition for such a close-up so I would give it a five to six in terms of technical execution this is pro perhaps uh, with an intent you flatten the image there's no contrast you probably applied the filter as I can see you played with the levels that is your interpretation for me this is too flat I'm not really enjoying it I would love to see more contrast but again this is about the taste so if you like this kind of look Instagram or maybe filter or Lightroom filter I don't know what you have used or just played with the levels yourself manually uh, this is not something that I would enjoy I would love to see more contrast well exposed a nice bokeh and uh, I'm gonna show you my version I took the liberty to crop it a little bit and increase the contrast and you need to tell me if you believe that I've done a good job or not I leave it up to you so from my um, Tudor rating system for the technical execution I would rate it as a five maybe six just to finish up uh, this rating is in its context by itself this is way better than other portraits I have seen and I am receiving, so it's still a good photograph in my opinion. Just a little bit of tweak and you can make this probably 7, 8, 9 out of 10. And one more thing I would like to add, for such a portrait the crop is very important because it's a close-up. You are cutting half of the forehead, I disagree with that. Either you do it a very close-up on the eyes and the lips and the face, you cut it even more or you show the entire head, but that's my opinion. I personally like clean and blunt cuts. So now I'm gonna put my version of your portrait next to your version and you need to tell me which one do you believe looks better. This question is for everyone so just leave your comments down below. If you wanna change the ratings feel free to do them. Thanks for watching. I will try to do this as often as I can. Not sure if daily but I'll do this attempt at least for the next couple of weeks to see exactly how it's working. I will try to respond to as many suggestions as I can and I will see how it's working in the next few weeks and uh, maybe I'll change it, maybe I'll keep it. I don't know right now, but let's give it a try. And as per usual, until I see you next time, probably tomorrow, I wish you happy shooting. If you enjoyed the video, remember to subscribe on this channel and also check out the website and subscribe there as well. Please note that we have free resources and also a store where I am going to put a lot of materials very useful for the beginner photographer.